All right. Let's address a couple of teams that were supposed to be good. I looked. I looked at the Big 12 preseason media poll, which is never correct. It's always off, and especially off when you consider West Virginia and what the Mountaineers have done this year. But then I thought about the Baylor Bears, the TCU Horn Frogs, and Texas Tech. Did you know Kansas State, maybe the king of them all, was picked second in the Big 12 this year? Oklahoma State picked seventh. Kansas State lost on the road at Boone Pickens Stadium. Texas Tech, who was picked fourth, they are 3-3 three and three to start the year with a loss to Wyoming. Tech picked fourth. At 2-1, and one, they could still finish there or even higher, could even represent the conference in Arlington. But, oh, the jury is still out. TCU at 5. A loss to Iowa State, who was picked 10th on the road. You lose Chandler Morris, and let's be honest about Chandler Morris. He was not a world beater. He was not a consistent, legitimate, elite quarterback for TCU. He was not the guy that was putting the whole team on his back and winning week in and week out for TCU. The Horn Frogs have now dropped consecutive games in Big 12 play, including a home loss to West Virginia. That's number five, preseason number five TCU, losing to number 14, Neil Brown and West Virginia. Kansas was picked ninth in the Big 12 media poll. The Jayhawks have a better shot at Arlington than half of this league. Looking at the the teams one through seven in this poll, it's it's a headache. Because Kansas State at two, underwhelming. Texas Tech at four, despite the big Baylor win, underwhelming. TCU at five, now consecutive losses in Big 12 play, certainly underwhelming. Oklahoma State at seven. I guess they beat Kansas State. But prior to that, they were terrible. They're going to be the the seven and five team. You think, wow, how did that happen? Baylor at six. Baylor might be the second worst team in the Big 12 if not worse team, we will see when they play Houston. Kansas at 9 has been so good. Iowa State at 10 has been surprising. Maybe the wildest, not, not the wildest, but second wildest of all of these, BYU at 11. The Cougars have shocked a lot of people so far this season. And then the crown jewel of the whole conversation, West Virginia at 14 in the preseason media poll 14 and now the mountaineers undefeated in big 12 play 2-0 and one of the only hopes for this conference a team that could win nine games 10 games west virginia is this good is this good that tcu kansas state baylor teams that were picked in the top seven of the conference look really bad right now all suffering losses that preseason shouldn't have been losses this week. What do we do? I'm happy for West Virginia. I'm happy for Iowa State. Again, I'm, I'm happy for Mike Gundy. But this is just completely tearing apart a Big 12 that needed to keep Oklahoma and Texas out of the Big 12 championship game. And now... Brother, it seems like there's no other option to those two teams. I wish it wasn't this way, but it is. Kansas State, TCU, Baylor, all underwhelming. Texas Tech, jury still out. Iowa State playing better. Oklahoma State, who are you? So many questions to be answered. It's fun to watch. Damn, it's fun to watch. I love watching it. But I also love... When a Kansas State runs the table, when a TCU runs the table, a Texas Tech runs the table, keeps Texas and OU out of the spotlight, and it's just not the way things have gone. It's not the way they'll go this season. That stinks, man. Happy Sunday. Hope you like some dour stuff as you start your week because it's what it feels like right now. 
I'm Drake Toll. Thanks for I'm Thanks for making this your first listen every single day, especially the emergency Sundays. This has been it always will be. Locked on. Thank you for making it your first listen every single day. Dose grande.